Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Dreamhouse. Dreamhouse is our oldest sample application. It evolved through time and now we're going to take a look at the latest version built on Lightning Web Components. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce and I'll be your guide. As a reminder, this video is part of the series in which we tour the different sample apps. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, I recommend that you watch it for a general introduction to sample apps. In this episode, we're going to explore Dreamhouse. First, I'll explain a bit the use case, and then we'll take a look at key features. For example, we'll talk about Lightning Data Service, we'll explore the different map components that are part of the app, and we'll finish with some of the mobile features that are highlighted in this app. Dreamhouse is a fictitious real estate agency that brokers use the Cecil's platform to manage their properties. Let's open their custom app and go to the Property Explorer tab. Here we can find all the properties that they manage. Properties are stored as a custom object in Salesforce. We use a set of custom Lightning Web components to browse them. We can filter the properties by name, price, number of bedrooms, and bathrooms. Note that the property list refreshes automatically when we change filters. And when I select a property, I can see its details and location on the right hand side. Let's take a closer look at the property details component. Notice that we can edit the record properties from here. I'll change the broker and save our record from within our custom component. This handy UI is implemented with just a few lines of code thanks to the base components from the Lightning Data Service. Let's take a look at the code now. This is the markup of our component. The Lightning Record Form base component is all we need to create an editable record view for our property. We just need to pass the record ID and the list of fields that we want to display, and that's it. We could also use a layout instead of specific fields. The beauty of this solution is that we don't need to worry about writing and maintaining Apex or JavaScript logic for loading and saving the record. We don't need to worry about permissions or translations. All of this is built in thanks to Lightning Data Service and its caching mechanism. Let's move back to our app and check out how we use maps. In Dreamhouse, we use two different map components. This one here is the base Lightning Map component, and we also have a custom map component that we'll see next. The Lightning Map base component is very easy to use. It takes in an array of markers as input and accepts a few options such as the initial zoom level. While this component is easy to use, it's also quite basic. When you want to customize the appearance of your map further, you have to switch to a custom component. Let's go back to our app and take a look at the other map component in the property finder. This one is a custom map component built with the leaflet.js library and the OpenStreetMap service. When I move my mouse over a property location, I get a tooltip with a preview of the property. This is not something that we can implement with the base map component. Now, we won't dive into the code of the custom map component for the sake of brevity, but this is an example of the use of a third-party library. The last Dreamhouse highlight that I want to share today is the app extensive mobile support. Not only did we make sure that the app was responsive on mobile, but we also added a number of mobile-specific features in Dreamhouse. For example, when I select a property and open its record page, I can see the distance from my location to the property. Now the number looks a bit crazy here because I'm based in France and the property is in Boston. I can use my phone camera to capture pictures and attach them to the record page. I can also use my camera to scan a QR code that references a property and open directly the right record page. All of these native mobile features and more are available in custom Lightning Web Components, thanks to the base Lightning Mobile Capabilities module. This concludes our tour of the Dreamhouse sample application. We saw the app use case and some of its key features. This includes the Lightning Data Service, the Map Components, as well as the mobile support. Head over to this link to get started and learn more about the app. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found this content useful. Remember, this is part of a series and we'll be touring with different sample apps in the upper videos. Thanks for watching.